quickly as possible for what I think, without any question, is the best 30 minutes we've had all season. Dundee United against Hearts in a quite incredible game. Dougie Hope, brother of Kenny, and curiously enough, they are the only two refereeing brothers in world football. Well, the pitch is not only playable, it's in absolutely ideal condition. I was talking to Dougie Hope, he went out and had a look at the pitch, felt it myself at the very edge, so we should get a fine football match. We normally do, at least in the past couple of seasons, we've uh, normally had excellent play between these two teams. Last time I saw them, in fact, was at Tyne Castle, where with due respect to Dundee United, they stole a point with Paul Sturrock scoring at the end of either half. Robertson does very well indeed. Black is there. Black. Whittaker does very well when he attacks on the left. McAnally was with him. Throw, I think, to Hart. Clark. Oh, Hart's going very well. John Robertson in with a chance. And it's a brilliant. Oh, no. No, no, no. Some very excited heart supporters near me, but rightly the goal was chopped off. The linesman had his flag up, and I think justified in doing so. Watch as that's nudged forward there, and I think the offside, in fact, was against Clark initially, yes, even though Mackay put it promptly away. McGuinness. Hart's playing like furies at the moment, that's an excellent ball. Now Whitaker. Clark, he's going to get the touch and it must be. Oh, is it off? Oh, that must have been very close indeed. It's no goal, and therefore it's one of the most brilliant clearances of the season. How close it was, Clark. Good overlap by Whitaker. Look at that boisterous foot by Clark, he got the touch, now watch this. Oh, uh, difficult to make a final judgment at that, but the linesman was on the spot. No goal. Sturrock might just get this. He does. Oh, brilliant play by Sturrock. Superb. Bannon. Winning. Well, the kid. I think it's a throw to Dundee United, yes. One or two slightly disagreeing with him. Redford in a very good position, and he meant that for Paul Stunner. Holt. The run is on by McAnally. Did well to get that over this Ferguson going for it. Stunner's here. Bennett! What a marvellous start we've had to this match. Ferguson, turning Sandy Jordan with them. Good supporting one by the highest defence, Ferguson. Slips it in. Oh, I must say, full marks to both sets of players. It's a cold draw day in Dundee. And they've set about this afternoon with a kind of relish of an almost spring afternoon. Ferguson, beautiful ball. Redford, Stunner trying to go for the stairs. Ferguson, Bannon, deals for hands. No complaint, so. Robertson. Here's Kenny Black. Very good touch there by Sandy Clark again. In fact, probably winning the duel in the air against uh, David Derry at this stage. Bannon, run by Redford. Hard certainly getting many more players forward. And he always gives good support, but... That's oh, beautifully taken by the goalkeeper, Robertson is in. That must be, it is, Sandy Clark. No, would you believe, offside again. He
can't believe it. Now, this time, the referee is going to consult personally. Uh, there was Robertson going in, and the goalkeeper, Kenny Black, was there. Long consultation, and uh, I personally saw nothing wrong with that. Probing run there by McAnally. And there was a little unexpected rear pass. Oh, and he was yards wide. Hearts in the ascendancy. Good run by fullback kid. You look for the chip. Sandy Clark trying to go in. Gary McCoy. Tremendous hearts pressure. Now Redford. Ferguson, oh, that's a superb pass. Forward run there by Bowman. Ball inside was a waste on. Look at the determination on Sandy Jardin's face as he came away from that and wants to go forward. Betty. Mackay. Berry popping up everywhere for Hearts. Black. Clark winning in the air, would you believe, again? Well, Hearts, adamant that that had been handled. Certainly didn't see it. Again, there's been touching, boiling point, simmering down. And Paul Sturrock is getting some harsh treatment, and that's a free kick. By the way, can I say there have been some very hard tackles in this? I totally go along with the referee in that there have been no bookings. He's let the play flow. And we've gone 25 minutes. Ferguson not strong enough. And it goes to Redford and Hearts playing securely at the back. Ah, yes, I recognise him. Seen that often after Christmas, not before it, I would say. Amongst the Hearts support, who we'll also have another visitor from the Heart of Midlothian Laplanders Supporters Club. Oh, perfectly valid tackle there by McDonald. Bowman. Oh, Dundee United are struggling in the middle of the defence. That's a superb ball. Cahoon, he can't put it away. Robertson. 1-0. A goal thoroughly deserved on pressure. 26 minutes gone and carnival time amongst the heart supporters. Really great goal picking by this. Billy Thompson. To whom getting that chance? Watch the goalkeeper narrowing the angle. But he couldn't stop Robertson. Clark doing marvellously here. Breaking up the defence, spreading it around. And Cahoon kept his head. And watch this, Robertson. Ferguson and away go Hearts again. Kent, no offside. Sandy Clark, can he put it away? He can't. Robertson again. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, he had a chance to kill the game. Stone dead there. Whitaker, delayed far too long. Amazing 
spot was seen from hard. Now Clark, the narrowest of angles. Good clearance by Neri. Ferguson. That is a good ball, kills for a penalty there. Strong appeal for it as the two United players went into it. Now, was this a penalty kick? In they went, trying to go for this, and I, in actual fact, I think it may have been a collision between the two United players. Ooh, Sandy Town did not like him at all. But there's always an extra Hearts defender. This is what's so good about this present Hearts team. Always somebody there in reserve. Yeah, quite simply, a very difficult team to beat. That's a better one. Solid Hearts defence. pushing and jostling in the box as we watch that corner I don't think the linesman saw anything well this is exactly what happened watch Spannon oh and he put his arm up well looked to me as if the arm was deliberately put out Bannon running round there and watch the arm going up. Yes, it was indeed. And the referee didn't see that. But Hodge Captain Kidd. McGuinness, simple one for the goalkeeper. <laughs> As if he got it in a, a present. Scything sort of tackle there by Whitaker. And there goes the half time whistle. What a remarkable first half we've had. All I can say is thank you very much to both sets of players. On a cold draw afternoon, they've said about it almost as if it's a cup tie. The pace has been unabated, and the only fear is it may sag in the second half. I don't possibly see how they can keep it going. The only goal in it by John Robertson after intense Hearts pressure. A goal they thoroughly deserved at that stage. And I'm quite sure these uh, gentlemen from, I would assume, the Edinburgh district have uh, felt it worthwhile to get into the seasonal spirit, given, of course, that there is still another half to come. Itchy feet there from the Hearts players, and indeed, I'm sure they would end at half time thinking they could have killed this game stone dead. They had three or four distinct chances in the game. Could have been, oh, two, three up at the stage. And yet, uh, Dundee United have a legitimate cause for complaint. One of the players definitely struck on the penalty. There's no question about that, in my mind. All adding up to very good entertainment. And I think the corner kick as Hearts launched themselves into the attack against Sandy Clark. Getting that early opportunity. What a useful afternoon and he's had. He comes up on the follow-up here. There he is. Just stabs it in. Ooh, a touch the United player. I'm sure it did. Walter Kidd. Looked like the tiniest deflection. Ferguson. There's Bannon. Well, he's right off form. McAnally, good running by Bannon again. Now the final ball matters. Ooh, just beyond Morris Malpas. McAnally. There's Malchus. Bannon! the wrong side of his player, but that was a distinct shot at goal. Now watch the ferocity of this. 
Yes, he was meaning to hit that straight to goal. Hearts ball. side one access for Clark with the header you know I looking back over the the game from the start I can't recollect when Clark has missed out a ball in the air I mean not all those touches have been effective but he's got there and he gets there once again better play by Ferguson who's now having to lie very deep trying to get the ball laid off to Holt Good control by Holt. Run there by Redford. Oh, and that's good recovery by Kidd. Really is. Stir out. Ball still in play. Bannon was coming in on that. Now Sturrock. There's a tip forward. Ferguson. Well, you can see United supporters in the background there responding to this. That was a better move by United. Oh, Berry. Oh, Berry made a meal of that. And that's a better ball to Redford. He's going to chip the goalkeeper, and he does, but to the side. And as the wind gets up, it may well have been that blowing. I think quite vigorously now that slightly went out of control as a result. Pushing there on Cahoon, yes, he gets a free kick out of that. The pink elephant away in the background is delighted. I, I think everybody else is seeing the same as I'm seeing. <laughs> One more hot attack that has sent little shivers through this at the United support. The big goalkeeper did well. Now Jim McAnally is going to let fly with that. Not bad. Yes, McAnally quite entitled to go forward and try his chance now. Time is not on United's side. Seemed to touch the ground in front of the goalkeeper and it took a lot of the sting out of it. Redford. A superb play by Redford and Malpas. Now Sturrock, here's Malpas coming up. No uncertainty with Black there. Simply putting that away. Bit more from United now. I think they're realising with uh, well, about 17 minutes left that they've been finding it difficult to get a shot in and Henry Smith got to lift the pace of the game up now. I think we'll see a lot of Billy Thompson punting that ball forward. There's Tarek with a chance, brilliantly saved. Well, just as I said, it was difficult to get to Smith. They had that momentary glimpse. But notice again the difficult, difficult angle. Ten minutes to go. John Holt with it. Redford. It's not out. Malpas. Redford. Ferguson. Too strong. Amaginnis. Bannon. McAnally. Oh, he has done it with a chance. He's done it. The equaliser by Stunnock. remaining and we were talking about the scarcity of chances for the United and the quality of striking is taking what is presented and that's exactly what Sturrock has done defied by Henry Smith early on in the second half there was no offside and he went to the left-hand side of the keeper very 
delicate goal this by Stunning, by the way, under pressure. The way he slipped it to the wrong side of the goalkeeper, you thought he might go away to the far side. Look at that. Excellent finishing. Supporters will be hanging on here. Jim McAnally. Ferguson, that's a better ball to Bannon. Now Bannon. Here's Bannon with a great chance. Oh, it's a great goal! Two goals in two minutes, and this was Bannon at his best. I think, personally, he's had an indifferent afternoon by his own standards, but look at the way he dragged the defence down and under the most difficult circumstances, slotted at home against a really top-class goalkeeper. Now watch that again, it's worth it from the other angle. How difficult it is to do. Away he goes to the side. Now, it's his finish, the final ball. Look at them in the background. Within the last minute. Clark with a header, there's a chance! Oh, that was a real chance for Hearts. McDonald had come forward and there is offside. And the intrusion of the big central defender into that penalty area almost caught out and delighted. In he came for this, there he is there, look at that. Unfortunately, he's better in the air than on the ground in the penalty box. And was being given a goal kick. A disappointed John Robertson scored a very important goal for Hearts, played very well, could have had another couple, and now finds himself on the losing side, all in the space of a couple of minutes, I may say. Sparag didn't even jump for that. Malpas does. Robertson, too much. McAnally. Bannon outside of his foot. McDonald to Jardin. Here's Ferguson with a chance, and he's done it! Oh, amazing! Opportunist goal, and whether there was one. Two and a half minutes of injury time, and he saw the Hearts goalkeeper out of goal. This is a quite brilliant strike. He chipped him superbly. Yes, the United supporters will want to see that again. Look, he took that one, two, Three seconds and the ball's in the back of the net that we have seen this afternoon. Two of the finest goals I've seen all season. And can you blame Hearts for feeling absolutely staggered? There it goes. The final whistle, ten minutes to go. They had this game in command. I know there was only one goal in it, but they looked so purposeful and stable. And then suddenly, the blitz. Sturrock, then Vernon, and then that quite incredible injury time goal by Ian Ferguson. And there is a scoreline that will delight everybody in the Dundee United area. Anybody who wears the tangerine colours